Welcome back to Ubad's lab and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Hess's law in order to find the change in enthalpy of a reaction. Alright, so this is all the information that we're going to be given in this problem. So we're given this reaction, P4O10 plus 6PCl5 goes to 10Cl3PO. And we're asked, what's the change in enthalpy of this reaction? And then we're given these four other reactions that are different from the original, but we're given the change in enthalpy. And what Hess's law states is that when you add and subtract reactions, you can also add and subtract the change in enthalpy. So we're going to be using that to our advantage to find the heat, the change in enthalpy of this reaction. So basically what our goal is, is to change these reactions around so that when we add them all together, we get this reaction. So let's, uh, let's start doing that. So we have this first reaction, P4 plus 6 C, uh, Cl2 goes to 4 PCl3. And um, you can see that P4 does not show up in this reaction at all. Uh, Cl2 doesn't show up in it at all. And uh, PCl3 doesn't show up in it at all. So uh, we're going to have to cancel all three of these out. So we don't have enough information yet to know what to do with this. So we're just going to keep it the same. Let's move on to the next one. P4 uh, plus 5O2 goes to P4O10. And um, we can see that this doesn't show up in the original. O2 doesn't show up in the original. But P4O10 shows up on the left side of the original. So we want this to be on the left side of this reaction. So to do that, we can, um, to switch this reaction around, we can multiply the uh, change in enthalpy by negative one, uh, make this number a positive, and then we can change this reaction around. So we can do P4O10 goes to 5O2 plus P4. So P4 uh, O10 goes to uh, P4 plus 5O2. Alright, and now that we have that, we can see that, um, oh wait, this is a solid, and then this is also a solid, and this is going to be a gas. Alright, that's important because if the solids and if one thing could be the same uh, uh, molecule, the same compound as the other, but if it's not a solid and a gas, then you can't cancel them out because they're different. Alright, so we got the P4O10 on the left side, and this is on the left side, so we're looking good there. And these two on the right side are, I like that the P4 is on this side, and then the P4 on this one's on the left side, because then we can cancel them out if we add them together. So everything's looking in the right place so far. So let's look at the next one now. We have PCL3 plus CL2 gas goes to PCL5. So we can see that PCL5 is on the right side of this one and PCL5 is on the left side of the one that we want. So no matter what, we know that we're going to have to multiply this by a negative, but there's a 6 PCL5 on that side. And um, there's no other PCL5s over here, so nothing's going to cancel out. So we're going to have to multiply this entire thing by negative 6 because we want to put it to the left and make it a 6 PCL5. So times negative 6. And this is going to go to, um, let's see, we have 6 PCL3 plus 6 C 
Cl2, and this is a gas and a gas, so it got kind of squished there. And then on the left side, we put the 6 PCl5 gas. All right, and um, for the final one, PCl3 plus uh, one half O2 gas goes to Cl3PO, and um, so PCl3 doesn't show anywhere over there. One half O2 doesn't show up anywhere over there, uh, but the Cl3 uh, PO shows up on the right side of this one and the right side of this one, so we're good there. But there's a 10 and there's a 1 over there, so we definitely have to multiply by this this by 10. And another thing is that we're gonna have to get rid of this O2. And um, you can see that there's a five O2 over there and multiplying this by 10 will create a five O2 over there and then they can cancel out. So we definitely have to multiply this by 10. All right, uh, we can just put a 10 over here, uh, make this a, a five and then put a 10 over here. All right, so we now that we have all this to check if we did it right, we're going to add all of these reactions together and see if we get this reaction. So let's start doing that. All right, we have um, P4 and um, we should have another P4 somewhere on the right side. Yes, right over here. Because we need that we, we need the P4s to cancel out. So we can cancel this and cancel this because they're both on the left side and this one on the right side. And they have the same um uh, same uh, number in the beginning. They're both uh, one. And um let's see, uh Cl2, this one should uh, also cancel out. We should have a six Cl2 somewhere on the right side right over here, 6Cl2, we can cancel this and cancel this. And then 4PCl3, uh, we should have another, there's no PCl3s over here, so we need a uh, PCl3 on the left side somewhere. PCl3. Let's see. Oh, okay. So there's a 4 PCL3 over here, and there's a 6 PCL3 over here, so it becomes 10 PCL3. And then there's a 10 PCL3 over here, so 10 on 10 on both sides, so all of this could cancel out. Okay, that worked out perfectly. And now we have the P4O10, which we're going to keep because we want it there. Uh, 502, we should have another 502 on the left side over here cancel both these out and um, it looks like we're out of things to cancel out so now we can put everything that we have left into the reaction so whatever is not crossed out we have the uh, P 4 O 10 solid plus uh, 6 P C L 5 gas goes to the 10 Cl3 PO gas. And this is the exact same reaction that we had from the beginning. So it all worked out perfectly fine. And um, the way that we're gonna find the uh, heat, the change in enthalpy of this reaction is just by adding all of these together since we added all of the reactions together. So negative 1,225.3 plus, plus this and then plus this will equal uh, I already did this beforehand and the heat of reaction of the final uh, final thing is going to be negative 610 kilojoules and there it is that's how you use Hess's law to find the change in enthalpy of a reaction you guys should follow me on Instagram because I do some pretty cool chemistry related things there 
and I also host some live videos once in a while. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.